All right, everyone, the time has finally come and we are headed to London. All right, guys, so we are at the London ASA. They put me on the power lines. So uh, I and Jay are on the power lines, which are the is known to be the hardest range on the ASA. So we'll see how this goes. But I'm going to the practice range. We'll see how that goes, and then we'll begin the shoot. I will see you when this all ends. <laughs> So this morning was a fairly good morning. The power lines were definitely hard because it was in the morning, so the targets were dark. And then whenever the sun came out, they were like, since we were shooting on the morning time, the sun was like directly over top of the targets, so they were still dark. But I did the best with what I could. I think I did pretty well for my conditions that I was shooting in. I think I'm placed fairly well in my division. So now it's all up to tomorrow and shooting well, but for now I've got to work and I will be hanging out at the rest of the shoot for the rest of the day. So be real. Not a smooth talker under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. Alright everyone, so it is 6.09 in the morning. Today is opposite day. So basically I'll be working in the morning and then I will be racing out onto the course to shoot my second round. So hopefully I will be able to improve on my first round because I won't be shooting in the morning on the power lines, which is like absolutely amazing to actually have light on the range. I would also like to mention that my boyfriend Clint he shot yesterday his first K45 score. His strings stretched two days ago. His bow was out of spec, so he had to go and retune it just a couple days ago. Came on the range and shot 26 up. That's insane. So, all right, well, I will see you on the other side. are my walking to the range confessions. So I realized that yesterday I was getting down on myself for my score. And I did a video a while back saying how I wanted things to change in archery because I wanted to be more thankful for the competitions that I went to. And I don't think I was being as thankful as and grateful as I could have been. So going into this next round, I'm gonna make sure that I am thankful for being able to be here, for being able to shoot. If I shoot well, that's a absolutely a bonus to the day, but really being able to work, getting to see friends that I haven't seen in three months, but it's felt like absolute years. That's what I'm going to be thankful for today. Also, I'm hoping it doesn't rain while I'm on the range. So say a prayer for me.
All right, so a lot of good things happened today while I was shooting. First off, a different mentality set. Now, yesterday I was happy to shoot. I don't think I was aware of the thankfulness and the blessing that I realized today. I came in with an even better mindset than I had yesterday, improved on that. Yesterday, the targets were really dark. It was really hard to see them. Today, it was a lot brighter outside so I could see the 10 rings. So that just goes to show you to stick through it always never give up because you never know what can happen a good friend of mine once said it's not over until it's over so just stick through it that's what i did today and i shot even better i think we're i think we're gonna go try and see the rest of the eliminations round for the pros if they're still shooting but first there is a shaved ice place over there <laughs> 